The main task of the GMO panel is to assess GMO market applications. And uh, the panel assesses those with regard to human and animal health and the environment. So this is a broad topic. At the moment, we have primarily GM plant applications. And in order to do the assessment, there is a second main component of the work of the GMO panel, and that is to prepare guidance documents that will explain to the applicant and to the risk assessor what type of data to prepare for a dossier and how to evaluate those data. The work on GMO applications is a truly interdisciplinary work. So we need experts that will actually characterize the genetic modification. In our case, these are primarily molecular biologists, plant breeders, plant protein biochemists, plant biochemists, bioinformaticians. But beyond that, we also need people that assess the safety of the products. And these are people that are linked to food and feed safety and to environmental safety. For example, allergenicity experts, toxicology experts, human and animal nutrition, dietary exposure, field trial design, entomologists, ecologists, weed scientists, agronomists, and more. So this is really a huge group of experts that we need, expertises that we need to assess a GMO application in its totality. The typical work is of course the assessment of the GMO applications. This means that we look very closely at the data, that we analyze the data, and that we write a scientific opinion where the assessment of the data and the outcome, the conclusions of this assessment, are written. And this is then an output that we give to the European Commission, to the Member States, and it acts as a basis for the decision making, is there a market authorization granted or not. In addition to that, as I mentioned previously, there is the development of guidance documents. And this is really the opportunity to create new risk assessment approaches to come up with new methodology. And we had a very nice example that we just concluded in the last plenary meeting in May, which is an update of the guidance on allergenicity. It was about two and a half years of work to come up with this update and there was a dedicated group of experts that is specialized in these areas that work together. An added value for the panel experts that come to EFSA is that they have the possibility to interact with a broad range of scientists coming from very different backgrounds. So there's a possibility to exchange, to receive feedback from areas that scientists normally would not be so exposed with in their daily work. Also there is the possibility to publish in the EFSA journal, so there will be an ed addition to the publication list of the concerned scientists.